welcome to SCZ Live. Today we're in the belt and we're going to learn a little bit about our hippos. Hi, I'm Kayla and Jonathan here is going to be our hippo treat dispenser. Um, here at Cedric County Zoo we have two hippopotamus. Uh, we have Sweetie Pie and Pudgy. This is Pudgy right here. She's usually the first one to come up when we get snacks out. You guys might know that even though our hippos here are very sweet, uh, hippos are actually considered one of the most dangerous land animals. And a lot of that has to do with hippos obviously living in waterways and people congregating around waterways. And hippos are very territorial. They're just trying to protect usually their young. And that's why we see a lot of hippo-human conflict. But again, with that being said, Sweetie Pie and Pudgy have both been here since they were very young. And they kind of know our routine and know that uh, how we work them. And so we, even though we keep a safe distance from them, these girls are very sweet. So Kayla, how do you tell them apart? Which one's Sweetie Pie and which one's Pudgy? Uh, like I said, Pudgy is usually the first one to come up to us. She, uh, even though is the skinnier of the two, is always hungry and ready for treats. She also is the smaller one if you're able to see them on land. And then uh, Sweetie Pie over here, you can kind of see her uh, her right ear has a little notch in it that kind of flops it down. So that's an easy way to tell when they're both in the water like this. Uh, Pudgy also has a more deeper set eyes and kind of a deeper V on her face, whereas Sweetie's is a lot flatter there. Now, what's the native range of these guys? These guys live throughout different waterways in Africa. Uh, they are, tend to be kind of a nuisance with farmers there. Uh, they obviously, a herd of hippos can decimate a crop in just one night, but they actually, as gross as it sounds, their feces is actually very fertile and keeps the, the land there really great for crops. Um, and one point that we always like to tell people is this pool here that they're in is was just cleaned about three hours ago and they've done a pretty good job of mucking it up. So a lot of times we get questions of how often do these pools get cleaned it, several times a day, but these girls are very dirty, but that's normal and it's actually really great for their ecosystem. Now, we see a lot of ducks swimming around in this uh, in the hippo water. Are the ducks ever scared of the hippos? Uh, apparently not. They know that the girls leave a lot of scraps of hay around. The girls get uh, about a bale of prairie hay divided between them throughout the day every day. And the ducks are kind of freeloaders and come and eat their snacks. <laughs> uh, the, this pool here is about 40,000 gallons of water that we fill every day for these guys. And then their indoor pool, if you've been into our indoor space, is about 20,000 gallons. And for a good frame of reference, a residential pool is typically around 30,000 gallons. So these girls get a couple swimming pools a day usually. And this time of year, we actually heat the water for them because, again, they are native to Africa. So they uh, enjoy that heated water. And so they have nice hot tubs for them. So we do have a couple questions about the hippo's teeth. They seem a little um, different from what we're used to seeing in uh, most animals' mouths. Is that typical of all hippos? Yes, these guys, they do have tusks, and that is, uh, you know, can't contribute to the ivory trade. But uh, these girls in particular, hippos in general, have these tusks, and that is for protection and for them to fight, not only with other species, but amongst each other. Um, our girls here are 40 eight and 47 years old. So they have had a lot of wear and tear on their tusks. Actually, Sweetie Pie here has lost her. Um, so those are things that we do a lot of geriatric care for these girls. And um, part of that is making sure that their tusks, uh, when she's lost these, we flush those out and make sure that they're healthy and that there's no infection. We don't have any concerns about it right now. There's Pretty, there's not a lot that's going to stop these girls from eating. They are hungry, hungry hippos. So uh, that plus um, we do, you now we have a couple cataracts here and a little bit of arthritis. So we do a lot of geriatric care for them. Um, even Pudgy here, we've been able to get, actually both Pudgy and Sweetie, 
we've been able to get blood draws and voluntary blood draws and then our vet department can run those and make sure all their values are good. We also weigh these guys once a month, which is something that we like to do for all animals out here at the zoo. Uh, again, Sweetie Pie is the bigger one here. She weighs about 2,800 pounds, whereas Pudgy is about 2,100 pounds. Wow. Those are big animals. Yes, they are. Now, they uh, keep doing the little ear flaps. Is that part of their adaptations for living in water? Yes, it is. It helps fling that water off and keep pests off of them. A lot of their... Uh, they have also adapted to their environment in that they graze usually at dawn and dusk. They're going to go above water and eat at those times. It's cooler at those times and also safer. But then the hot part of the day and when there's a lot of traffic and commotion out, they are going to hang out in the water. Another fun hippo fact is that hippos do not actually swim. These guys, if this pool is slanted here, and you can kind of tell that when they're getting in and out of the water, but hippos actually use the buoyancy in the water and just kind of bounce off the bottom of the water with each step, and they actually cannot swim. So they do not hang out in really deep waters. It's usually shallower places. And we usually get asked how long a hippo can hold their breath, and that is typically between five and ten minutes. Wow, I wish I could hold my breath. <laughs> no kidding, yeah. All right, I think you guys said that you have some special treats for We today. do, yeah. To show off the bite force of these hippos. We love to give them fun treats like watermelons and pumpkins. It's not quite the season for either of those, so we're going to pull out some cantaloupes for you guys. And so you can see just how impressive it is. Come on. Hi. That's it. Yeah, let's switch over to Pudgy. They are, yeah. That's why we keep up on this barrier here. And it is kind of an exclusive place where only keepers work with them. But you can see just how impressive their bite is when she gets her mouth open. And a lot of times, you know, right now we have cantaloupes. But in the fall, we'll give them pumpkins. Uh, and in the summers, we give them watermelons. And we'll give them a look over here. Uh, just like these cantaloupes, and they pop them with, as you can tell, very little ease or very little problem. Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. So, in the fall, when you see a bunch of pumpkin seeds floating in the water, you know that these girls just had a nice treat. <laughs> well, that is awesome. Thank you guys so much for taking time to talk to us about the hippos today. And thank you everyone for joining in. Um, and remember, even though we're closed, we're still caring.